Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's me. I've got Twitch chat on the side here. They're going to say hello, and we're going to do a little bit of a banless prediction, or I will, rather. And uh, Twitch will probably argue with me, but that's okay. We can ignore them together. Me, it's me and you, YouTube. Twitch, f*** them. Just kidding. I love you, Twitch. <laughs> so, that's going to have to be bleeped out. It's, I'm sorry, Circus. I apologize. Uh, ban list predictions. Oh, oh lordy. Oh lordy, we've got some banless predictions. We just had Casey Cup, or should I say Dark Lord and Blue Eyes Cup, because that's all there really was. We saw some harpies, <clears throat> but I think ultimately it was very clear that, that there was two good decks and then a bunch of other decks that tried to just OTK their way up. Um, and a hog. Take so we'll back. have to search a card. We'll have to, we'll have to see what we're going to do from there. Search a card. Hey! Ahem. Ban all cards, literally all <laughs> cards, delete the game, take a walk. That's not going to be my recommendation, Alex, but hey, that's one way to go about it. So, let's start off uh, with the two best decks. Realistically, the two meta setter decks, right? Blue Eyes and Dark Lord. We're going to start off with Dark Lords, just because, like, I mean, listen. I don't think Konami even wants this deck around. I think they just keep accidentally accidentally rather giving them support inadvertently right because we haven't actually gotten legit dark lord support in forever <laughs> like you know it's just randomly things will come out and it works so well in dark lords why does why do things work so well in dark lords well they are a consistent draw engine as long as there's one ick shell available and we still have banishment at three because that's really what broke it when banishment came out at three let it letting you literally choose any dark lord card out of your deck right like that's what really broke it because they, they just get the free draw two for 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 no reason no reason at all they don't they don't need a free draw two and now with the star seraph engine they're drawing even more they're searching for even more like life's rough that's the first bro that, that's the, that's just that's just the first broken thing. <laughs> the second broken thing is skills and duelings. The way skills work uh, being based on life points and taking into account life point cost as lowering them is pretty pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It, 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 most skills are fundamentally broken. Like destiny draw is fundamentally broken. You shouldn't be able to destiny draw at 7000 life points. But realistically, the only deck that that breaks that is Dark Lords. Like, there's no other deck that's gonna be even things like Arrow Mage, which, which can get a ton of life points. They don't they don't break it because they're not like paying life points and gaining life points several times in a single turn. At most, they can do it once, twice a turn, and that's what's causing the issue. These these two consistent factors. So, I think at this point. Konami is not making any money off of Dark Lords anymore. They're making money off of Star Seraph. That's what they're making money off of whenever the selection box comes around. And that engine uh, in itself will sell without the Dark Lords. Uh, to be honest, they're not really... The Dark Lords are more of the engine, and the Star Seraph is more of the frontline <laughs> worker. It's the same situation with um, with Thunder Dragons and Levianir. Levianir is going to sell regardless of how good Thunder Dragons are doing. Uh, there's no, there's no, they don't have to be together in order for one to sell the other. Um, I think a lot of people are saying, sure, a Nui Dark Lord, sure, do. yeah, I mean, that's one way to do it. Um, they could also just straight up forbid the, um, the Dark Lord trap card. I believe that is a rare. Let me just double check and make sure. We'll see here. We're going to go in Dork Lords. So we go in Dark Lord Trap. That is a R, a rare card. <clears throat> so it would not be outside of the realm of possibility that this card straight up just gets banned just like Cassidus did. Cassidus was extremely unhealthy for the game. Uh, this card is also unhealthy. Like this card specifically is very, very unhealthy. They could, in theory, still play Dark Lords without this. It would just be a lot more... Uh, quickly ending <laughs> they can't they can't sacrifice they can't just pay um, as much um life points and stuff so you could go with this so that is one option ban sanctified 
That is one option. Uh, another thing that's very, very, very likely to happen is uh, for them to uh, limit three the stick engine, if you want to call it that. Uh, the reason stick engine is so powerful is because of Ouroboros. Like, yeah, of course, you get a bunch of draw power, which lets a lot of decks do a lot of things. Um, but it's really the Ouroboros that's being the problem, and it's selection box that's also, like, more of a problem. So it's it really, really, really reminds me of... Um, Reminds me of uh, when Levian Year was out of control and Thunder Dragon was out of control. So I think, in a realistic sense, because the 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 stick is UR and the chair is SR. So there's an unwritten rule in Konami headquarters that if you're a UR from a box, main or mini, you can only get hit with a limit three. So realistically, I think a limit three on the stick engine, probably the stick itself would be very healthy for the game. Uh, that way they can't play things like Cosmic and stuff like that. Um, maybe even another Dark Lord card at three if they don't ban Sanct. If they don't ban Sanctified, then do it from there. Um, Sanctified, I think banning that card is just going to be like they lose a lot of their stall power, which, which is fine. In my opinion, that's totally fine. They're still going to have their draw. Uh, they just can't double search in a singular turn, and their strategy is going to be a lot more quicker, which means they're probably going to fall out the meta. But let's be realistic. No one wants Dark Lords in the meta. Not even Konami wants Dark Lords in the meta. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it'll literally just turn the deck into banishment for Ixshell, for draw two, and then you play your deck normally on that point. Uh, so... You know, I'd rather I'd rather go with with that. Doesn't chair at three make more sense since stick is UR? No, be, so UR cards can only be limit three. So that's like the worst that could happen. Uh, if they really wow. wanted to go do this, and they might do this, because remember, if you guys remember what happened with Thunder Dragons when Levianir came out, they murdered Thunder Dragons. You know, so they could take a similar approach where they're like, "Ooh, this is actually overpowered, but we can't touch the problem card being Ouroboros in other decks. So what we're going to do is murder it until Ouroboros officially comes out. So it, we may end up seeing a world where there's a limit three on the on the stick and a limit two on the uh, on the chair. That may happen. I don't know if that's the, the way they should do it. That's why I'm not typing it down. But we may see a universe where that happens, and that would uh, that would kill the engine until Ouroboros officially comes out, pretty much. Will the ban list say special summon too many times a single turn, or for meta diversity? Uh, it's gonna say for for too many special summons a single turn. <laughs> so, but I think these two are kind of what we need at least as a baseline. Uh, either ban sanctified or. Limit three is stick engine and another Dark Lord card, or just limit three stick engine ban sanctified. I think that'll fix the whole Dark Lord issue. We won't have to deal with Dark Lords anymore. Um, Sanctified's a R card. They've 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 nerfed stronger cards. They've nerfed Cassitis under the same prerequisites. So it's not a crazy thought for this to happen. I think this is very very well in line with what Konami would do. So there you go. Moving on, we have Blue Eyes. White Dragon, oh boy. <laughs> I personally believe Dark Lords is way more unhealthy than Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's just you run into Blue Eyes way more. Because let's be realistic, Blue Eyes White Dragon is very cheap to get. Uh, you spend, you know, you, you, you go mow your parents' lawn, you go plow your grandmother's snow, you go sell some tacos at a taco shop, for like a couple hours, boom, you've got blue eyes, almost at full power, like 70% full power, and then you go into one box, uh, you know, get sidetracked by Luna Lights, and then realize Luna Lights suck, and go full blue eyes, and you're good, like, you're, 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 you're like, better than 80% of the, 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 the players, because you have just a superior deck at that point, it's kind of crazy, uh, it's really insane, um, 
Dark Lords are probably, like, again, more, like, uh, like if Dark Lords go first, they open Star Stick Seraph, and they have the double negate, it's GG's, bro, like, it's done, you can't, no deck can beat that, <laughs> you know what I mean, but Blue Eyes is a pretty close second, it's pretty close second, the problem that Konami runs into is Blue Eyes will, is basically an infinite money maker uh, for for Konami. And a lot of people will say things like, oh, well, they nerfed Dark Magician. Bro, when was the last time Dark Magician had a virtual Seto Kaiba event, had pictures of Kaiba's face in China when they launched, gave out free alternative dragon for new players, and just all of this blue eyes bait? There is a massive conflict of interest when it comes to balancing blue eyes white dragon. It's actually kind of really interesting. It's 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 what's going to be interesting is how this deck gets nerfed will tell you a lot about Konami's inner principles when it comes to this game. And I think that's going to be the key engine cuz what should happen right? What should happen right here? What should happen is a core card at 2 Sage, for example, to make them stop playing Limit 2s, forcing them into more of that Karma Cut type-esque Blue Eyes build, and a Limit 3 uh, to control further staple abuse, in case they switch out into some other stuff, right? That's what should happen. What will happen? <laughs> Yo, Luke Tyler, thanks for the rate of 131. What's up, boys? We're just talking about some ban list stuff. What will happen? Oh, and also, and skill nerf. So they have a weakness to bricks. That's what should happen. What will happen, because Konami has massive blue eyes bias, we will get a limit two to a non-blue eyes card. So cock, cards of consonants, ancient rules, etc. Something like that that they use. Um, plus a skill nerf. That is the most realistic thing that we could possibly like consider. Because blue eyes has been on okay, so blue eyes has never been this good. But they have been on, like, they have been a, a good deck in the past. You know what I mean? So, and they've never been hit. So, realistically, this is what you can expect out of Konami. So, here's, here's what you guys should be noticing. If the first one happens, if the first one happens, you know that Konami cares about competitive integrity. And they actually do give a shit about how good the competitive scene of the game is. If the second option happens... You know they really don't care. <laughs> you know that they really don't just don't care. Because this, this second one will not do too much for you. On the plus side. On the plus side. Blue Eyes White Dragon without Ultimate Dragons is actually not that bad to deal with. Uh, they that, that Ultimate Dragon skill is what really just is dumb. And the, the reason they can play that is because Alternative Dragon is free. And they're basically playing two versions, or two copies of Alternative Dragon. They're playing Alternative, and they play Melody. Which, Melody half the time is, is even better, because the skill lets them not brick with the blue eyes that they end up adding. So, if we get a really good main box, just the skill being nerfed will make blue eyes irrelevant, because they'll just go back to being brick eyes again. Uh... But I hope for for the for the for the future of this game, we're more we're more towards the first option. What should happen? Sage to two, lose a limit three. Maybe even we put Karma Cut at limit three. I don't know. That's another thing we'll talk about later. Uh, and then a skill nerf. On top of that, just get Blue Eyes out of here. Blue Eyes. Every single time it's in the meta game, it's just super annoying to deal with. But people really like it because it's it's just a, an anime favorite. So what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go there's dark lord there's blue eyes white dragon those are the those are the top two that everyone cares about skill changes let's talk about skill changes so first and foremost the level skills level skills all of them uh 
I don't think they ever intended those skills to be used beyond the main phase. <laughs> so that that should definitely be changed, you know? Um, it's just a simple change, just the level change uh, ha uh, lasts until end of main phase. I actually have a conspiracy where they, they've they been wanting to change the level skills for a while, but there was such a huge amount of backlash when Shiranui was in the meta that uh, they, they don't, they don't, they didn't, they didn't want to like just go in raw. They just want, they were like, because when you look at the hang on mock and all of those cards, it's kind of obvious that the level abuse and the level dupe, like, that that's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, I, I I choose to believe that they knew that was going to happen. They're not... The Konami, Konami, they're not dumb. They act dumb, but they're not actually dumb. <laughs> so, so... I think they knew this was going to happen, and they were just like, we're just going to take care of it after Casey Cup. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so... The level skills, they're out of here. I hope that they it just lasts until the main phase. Um... Knowing Konami, though, there is a good possibility that it's just going to be something stupid. Like, while you have 2,000 or less life points, just like with Seal Tomb. Remember when a lot of people were talking about Seal Tomb? They were like, oh, you know, let, let me activate Seal Tomb in the main phase. Like, the first thing is main phase or activated in standby phase. And then they ended up making it mirror um, the uh, uh, the other one, the whatever the Summon Skull. Not Summon Skull, Skull Servant skill was. No Mortal Can Resist. That's the one I'm thinking of. Um so that's that's probably <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen i'm hoping that instead they just make it and go until the end phase that way you can't like summon hang on mock boost its levels swing in and then it loses its levels or something stupid like that so i think i think just go until the main phase is over call it a day and then it should be good from there and then it's just because it, th th this skill is supposed to be used for synchro summoning not whatever we're using it for now uh what else we got? Destiny draw, D draw. Uh, so I talked about this a little bit earlier. Uh, what's breaking D draw is Dark Lords. <laughs> so if you fix Dark Lords, uh, that will mostly fix it. The only other thing that comes close to breaking it is Battle in Boxer Veil, vale, uh, where you know you get swung into, and then they summon Veil. Vale. And then you go from there. The thing is, though, you can play around Veil, so it's not like a massive, massive like issue, in my opinion. Uh, so we don't need to like super, super, super uh, nerf it. Just what it's intended to do. When you're at two thousand or less, you get D draw. If you go above two thousand, then you lose it. <laughs> it's it's simple as that. <laughs> you know, like there doesn't need to be any further hits to it. It doesn't need to be oh below 2000 or just what what it's intended to do. Um as we get more cards like uh Battle and Boxer and the Dark Lords and we're able to bounce our life points back and forth, uh D draw is not broken. You know, it's it's those things that interact with it that are broken and how, you know, these things were because realistically, Battle and Boxer Veil. Vale, uh, if you're playing against a deck, for example, Luna Lights is a huge one. Um, Fire King is another big one. If you're playing against these decks and you choose to not play around Destiny Draw and Battle and Boxer Veil, vale, that's more on you and less on the skill. <laughs> a lot of decks right now can can like you see Yami Yugi. A lot of decks can swing in under the 2K limit, check for delays, see that there's a battling boxer, and then not misplay, essentially. Um, so, I, I, you know, like, this this, this is just one of those things where it's like, if you think it has to be less than 2,000, maybe it's time to go back and, you know, just learn some basic Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. Like, it's not that bad. <laughs> so, there you go. D-Draw, I think just make it, make it work as intended, and we'll be good to go from there. Uh, we talked about Ultimate Dragons already, but we'll put it on here. I think Ultimate Dragons does need a nerf somehow. Probably a cost or, uh, more turns added. I don't know, something. Um, so, so adding a blue eyes to your hand, and this is something that really I started realizing when we were doing the turbo duels a lot. Uh, people were still playing Blue Eyes White Dragon in the Turbo Duels. 
and it was not working. <laughs> it was not working. <laughs> they they tried. They tried doing it. But that did not work. They they kept uh, getting smacked up really, really badly. So I think losing access to the ultimate dragons is just going to be the way to go. Uh, so nerf ultimate dragons somehow. Uh, some people also were mentioning, like, if you add polymerization, you have to send a card back. I still think that's too much. Uh, too little, rather. I think they actually have to nerf it so it becomes more of a meme skill. Uh, because making it so Blue Eyes is not bricky anymore, that is a problem. Blue Eyes needs to be bricky uh, for it to be balanced. Uh, that's kind of like the idea, high risk, high reward type style. Um, and make them, you know, like the stones, like it, we actually want to summon with the stones, not add cards to our hands so then it has a clear cut weakness to Abyss Dweller again. I think that's a good, I think that's a good, you know, countermeasurement to to blue eyes white dragon and ultimate dragons so good on that from there um let me think anything else that's super relevant right now um really i think these are what need to be changed uh that are super it's super super important that these get changed automats you guys want me to talk about automats sure we'll talk about automats uh so i've said before and this is like there's like a huge line because these are the these are the problem these are the problems that need to be fixed in the metagame everything else this is like a this is like a minor issue that needs to be addressed eventually but it's not like an immediate concern in my opinion so we can talk about automats automats have been consistently um the third best deck i think harpies are slowly kind of taking them out but you know <laughs> it's it's not quite enough uh, Onomats, like every OTK deck, it will lose True Nade. It's not a matter of should it lose True Nade, it will lose True Nade eventually. Uh, it's just a matter of when will that happen. Last ban list was too soon, so it's probably this one. <laughs> Like, being realistically, it'll probably be this one. Uh, Konami does not agree with Hey True Nade whatsoever when it becomes meta. Uh, so they take it out. And I think that's fine. It's 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 It really is a, a card that's, you know, um, bipolar, I guess. I don't know what the proper word is there to use for that. But it's either you have it or you don't have it. You win, you, you lose, essentially, against, like, triple back row set. So I think that's fair. I think that uh, Automats will survive without True Nade. I don't think it's super critical that they get Hey True Nade. Uh, even if they get like Floodgated, their first monster, they can still summon on top of that. I've seen plenty of Automat players be totally fine without Hey True Nade. So it, I think it's fine. They'll live without a True Nade uh, thing. It'll be interesting what they nerf. Because if they take out something like Dodo to draw, that's going to be super annoying for Automats. But they'll be aight with that. Uh, and then... Uh, the next thing is Ono, Ono Mato Play. Last of the consistency cards, or, uh, skills in the game that's still being used. Uh, so Ono Mato Play is an interesting beast, because without it, Ono Mats suck. Like, bad. <laughs> like, they are really, really, really bad without Automato play. They they cannot play the game. So, don't kill skill. Make it fair. So, what do I say? What do I mean when I say that? Uh, I think if we do a slight nerf, for example, the... Uh, the cards that you send back not fair to send back a card just to re-add it what is that <laughs> i think whatever you send you should a either be unable to activate that card for the remainder of the turn so for example you summon sister and you re-add that card manually you should not be able to reuse that card or uh, make it so you just simply cannot add back that card that you send away. So that's the first slight hit that I would give it. That way they are not able to, um, you know, right away, uh, right away go into a crazy OTK by just changing out one card. 
I think that's a little too much. Uh, this with the true nade nerf is probably enough to like lower down auto mats, but I think if they needed to go one step further, maybe make it so they can uh, uh, they can only use this skill like turn three or above or something like that, and that is when you'd actually kill the skill. So the, the, it just depends on how far Konami wants to go. I think they don't want to go that far. I think they want auto mats to be in the game. I think they want an anime deck be successful through the usage of skills, uh, especially until worlds. So this is probably as far as they're going to go. But there is a possibility, knowing Konami, that they make the skill just literally unplayable and make it like, oh, turn three and above. That's when you can use it. So that's uh, that's what I think <laughs> will happen. But realistically, if you just if they lost True Nade, especially if the card that they lose for True Nade is uh, draw. Uh, which I believe is an SR. I don't remember off the top of my head. But if they lose that, uh, and they lose uh, True Nade, and they make this slight change to Automoto play, I think the deck will be perfectly fine. Uh, it's already like a third rate deck, fourth rate deck, and I think it'll just continue being like third, fourth rate with, with these changes. So, and then like if they need any further changes, just change them afterwards. <laughs> there you go. So there's auto mats. Um, what else? What else? I think that's that's really the big changes that need to happen. These are consistently on the power rankings, the three best decks that we get. Uh, so it makes sense to change these three. Sidra hit. Sidra doesn't need a hit. It's just annoying. <laughs> uh, I think that's really it. Anything else that they would do is so low on the on the. Uh, I guess the, the priority list that it's not really worth talking about right now. Uh, there's like a couple of things on there, like, you know, things, for example, talking about like, is Necro, should Necro Valley still be like at three or should it be free? All these things are so irrelevant right now compared to these big three or these big three. And then this minor fourth place, I should say, I forgot it did skills. Everything else is kind of like, way off in the distance <laughs> in, in terms of um in terms of what's important so i guess to give a little wrap up i think dark lord and blue eyes this is their highest priority uh to 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 fix i think the era of dark lord is over no one wants to deal with dark lord anymore it's just not fun um just get this get this garbage out of here we're, we're tired of it konami ban sanctified limit three stick engine do something Get it out of here. We don't want it anymore. Blue Eyes White Dragon. I think uh, I think this will be the most interesting to see where Konami's principles stand. I think if they do the first one, we're probably good. Maybe even give them a limit three. For example, Karma Cuts limit three. That could be very interesting. But this is more realistic in what will happen if we're being totally honest. And if we see number two happen, we know that Konami does not care about the competitive community at all. <laughs> we know that's just not realistic. Um... And then skill changes, the level skills, D-Draw, Ultimate Dragons. These boys got to get changed uh, for, the, for the health of the game. Um, and then a, a far off distant issue is they do have to address Automats eventually. And then everything else is, is pretty much irrelevant right now, I think, in terms of what needs to be fixed in the game. Uh, all that can be done after these main issues are addressed. Uh, we can talk about other issues that, you know, maybe a lighter um, ban list would be would be more in line with. So there you go. Thank you, YouTube. These are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I'm sure people have their own opinions. Everyone has their own opinions on how to balance the game. But the, at the end of the day, uh, we're, you can't look at it from just a player perspective. You have to also look at it from a Konami, expect, uh, 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 you know, perspective perspective and they want money that's what they want <laughs> so i tried to kind of place them in that as well so in the comments tell me how you nerf change things and uh see you in the next episode boys